Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, Tea Time Unfiltered fans. I just want to let you guys know because I think there's some confusion at times. In order for you guys to watch the full video of our podcast, you have to log into the Spotify app or go on to Spotify.com and go to Tea Time Unfiltered. As soon as you're logged in, the full video will play uninterrupted and you'll be able to see the video video, not just the audio. Um, You're unable to watch the video on any other platform as far as Apple or Google or Anchor. You have to be logged into Spotify to see the full video. Hey, Tea Sippers. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. And I got my girl, Lady J, in the house. Lady J, say what's up to the people. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Good day to y'all. Man, it is a lot going on out here. It's a lot of news for us to cover. And we got to talk about several different things throughout this podcast. And one of the things we got to hit on is all of this crypto drama. Like, literally right now, the crypto space is going through some type of weird Babylonian ritual, okay? We got death. We got debauchery. We got meltdowns. It's so much, like, this is this is like a Dragon Ball Z episode for finance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, what is so funny is that um, I was in the finance room on Discord, and one of the members, Black Butterfly, she posted this meme And it had me cracking up because it's the truth. And basically on this meme, it has Bart Simpson. He's pretending to be blind. And it says, government, insider trading by members of Congress. They can't see nothing. SBF getting away with billions in FXT Ponzi scheme. They can't see nothing. Your $600 Venmo transaction, child, they got a a whole microscope on everybody, Mm -hmm. you know, on everybody's finances Mm -hmm. online. So I just find this whole situation just simply fascinating. One, let's start with the whole situation with Mr. Sam Bankman-Fried and um, Gretchen Grundler, a.k.a. Caroline Ellison, who was the co-CEO of um, FXT. And it's very interesting how these two and the rest of their cohorts have been able to get away with billions of dollars in legit money, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with this whole crypto Ponzi scheme hedge fund. And the media is treating this like this is like one, they're, they're treating him like he's a boy. They keep Mm -hmm. saying, Oh, this, this boy, this young man, this is a grown man. They're treating her with cotton, with kitten gloves. I'm confused as to why neither one of them have been arrested yet. Yeah. This rabbit hole with FXT is only, I'm excuse me with FTX. It's just the, the surface there, there's this this whole situation oh, yeah. goes so much deeper, and I yeah. think once they peel back the nuances, they're gonna see that it's so many more people involved besides this young man or grown man and his grown girlfriend. You know, mm-hmm. they're trying to. He definitely is at fault, but I also believe they're trying to make him the scapegoat. But if you really dig down into it. There's a lot of people behind the scenes. Now, what's really interesting, we can go ahead and kind of segue into this while we're talking about crypto, Mm -hmm. is if you guys do not know, there has been so many crypto deaths. We've had over four crypto billionaires. They have Mm -hmm. all died this month. And so now this is starting to raise a lot of alarms. Eyebrows are being raised globally. So let let me name... All these people. So um, Nikolai Mushigang, he was 29 years old and he died in Puerto Rico on October 29th after tweeting that the CIA and Mossad were after him. The young tech millionaire was troubled with mental health issues. His family says no foul play has been involved and he had been spiraling. Yeah, of course the family's going to say that. I'm going to say ain't no foul. Ain't nothing happening. Everything's fine over here. He did. Yeah. He was crazy. Moving on with our lives. Right. Because I want to live. Right. Because young men just wake up and start tweeting about Mossad. Okay. 
Right. Um, so the next one was a broker. His name was Javier Bisca. Um, mm -hmm. He was at the center of Spain's biggest probe into crypto into cryptocurrency fraud, and he was found dead at a golf complex in Esponia on Tuesday morning, November twenty second. Uh -huh. Okay. Then we have the third guy, really handsome too, Asian guy. His name is Tyant, um, Tyantin Colander. He's the founder of the Amber Group, and he died unexpectedly on November 23rd in his sleep. The father, one, founded the Amber Group in 2017, which is valued at $2.4 billion. Now, the girlfriend is refusing to get an autopsy. The people in China are pissed because when he died, they mysteriously cannot find $1.7 million. Somehow he was able to take that to the grave with him. Last time I checked, when you die, everything is just left here. But OK, so the people are missing $1.7 million. The wife is refusing to get an autopsy. The people who invested are demanding that his body be autopsy to see was he killed, what happened. And right now... There, there's nothing, nothing at all. So the last person um, who died, his name was crypto billionaire Vaxlav Tron, and he died a he died in a mysterious helicopter crash on November 25th after another passenger canceled at the last minute. He had two children and a wife, and he was worth twenty billion dollars. Uh huh. So something ain't right in the buttermilk. So everybody's talking about this. I'm going to play a video really quick. Um, a lot of people on TikTok are also speaking on this as well. So mm -hmm. I think people are starting to see that something with all of these situations are just not right. So let me No, ain't nobody stupid no more. We, we, we're putting dots together, and that's the problem. They don't like us doing that. Right. This Russian billionaire is one of three crypto bosses to have died in unexpected circumstances in recent weeks. There's been loads of speculation, but here are the facts. Bojcezov Turan died after his helicopter crashed in good weather last week. It's reported that the helicopter was being flown by an experienced pilot that also died. But there's been speculation that another passenger was meant to board the plane, but cancelled at the last minute. These details have not been confirmed. The authorities investigating say they don't know any more about the crash, but they aren't ruling out any third party involvement. And this follows from the death last week of this crypto businessman. A statement from his company said that he died unexpectedly in his sleep. And his death followed this crypto millionaire who was found washed up on a beach last month. Before he died, he made a load of posts saying that he was scared for his life, and that's fueled a lot more speculation. But his family don't think his death is suspicious. They said he had a history of mental health problems. This isn't the first time there's been speculation into crypto deaths. In 2018, the odd circumstances around the death of another millionaire led to a Netflix documentary titled Trust No One. But it's important to point out that there is no evidence that the three deaths are linked in any way. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.